Well, those of you who have been with us before know what to expect. But for our new viewers, let's take a moment to explain our show, Satisfaction Guaranteed. We have two challenges, one for each of today's contestants, and they'll be judged on how well they use the six important points in handling customer complaints. Those all-important six points are, one, listen to the customer and make eye contact. Two, get all the details of the complaint and repeat the facts back to the customer. Three, respond with genuine concern. Four, Tell the customer what can be done about the complaint. Five, call the store manager or the pharmacist if the situation requires it. And finally, six, thank the customer for allowing Eckert to satisfy her or his needs. Why is it so important that Eckert Associates try their hardest to satisfy customers? Because the majority of dissatisfied customers don't bother to complain to the store, and nine out of ten will never shop us again. But they will tell ten other people about their unpleasant shopping experiences. Well, I see our announcers ready to begin the contest, so let's go to the action in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this will be a two-round contest, with each contestant having one round to handle a complaint. The judges will use the 10-point scoring system, and their decision is final. In round one, from Atlanta, Georgia, representing the cosmetic department of every Eckerd drugstore, Miss Karen Lawrence. And her customer today is, also from Atlanta, Miss Ellen Cooper. That's Mrs. Ellen Cooper. Excuse me, Mrs. Ellen Cooper. All right, you all have your instructions? You know how to play? Do you have any questions? No. Good. Oh, Miss. Miss. Yes. How may I help you today? Uh, I'm looking for that Revlon Flex shampoo you have advertised on sale for $1.79. I saw the sales sign, but there is no Revlon shampoo on the shelf. I can't believe that you're out of stock. Oh, I can understand why you're upset. Here you are looking for some special sale merchandise, and we seem to be out of it. Well, of course, it isn't exactly the end of the world, but I was looking forward to saving a little money on a favorite product. Are you sure there isn't any in the back room? No, I'm sure we put it all on the shelf last night. We must have sold it all. Some sale. I'm sorry, we're out. May I suggest this balsam and protein shampoo? It's an Eckerd brand that we promise will give you the same performance as Revlon Flex, and it costs less, even less than the special sale price on Revlon. No, no, I don't think so. I like my brand. I can give you a comparable national brand at significant savings. No, I don't want to try anything different. My hair is very sensitive. Never mind. Would it help if I get you a rain check? We're getting a delivery in tomorrow, and I could hold a bottle for you and give you a call. Okay, that'll be fine. But I still think you should have plenty of the product on hand when you advertise a sale. You're right, and thank you for letting us work this out. You're welcome. <laughs> it's the first time I ever got a thank you for complaining. An astonishing performance by this young lady from Atlanta. Let's see how the judges scored it. The score for listening, nine, nine, eight. Looks like judge number three picked up on something here. Let's take a look. Karen Lawrence was just a little slow in making eye contact with Mrs. Cooper, and she didn't smile very much. That must have been what the judge caught. Here comes the scores for getting all the details and repeating them back to the customer. Nine, nine, nine. Pretty good. And now responding with genuine concern. And the judge's score, nine. 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 I agree that Karen Lawrence let the customer know she was concerned. Nice job. But her score for telling Mrs. Cooper what Eckerd can do for her should be just super. Nine. Nine. Ten. That's going to be very hard to beat. Karen didn't give up until the customer was satisfied, and she didn't need to call the store manager. So we'll move on to our last category, thanking the customer. Nines across the board. By my calculations, Karen Lawrence's overall score came to an unofficial nine. We might have an award winner here. Let's see how our second matchup goes. Ladies and gentlemen, from Dallas, Texas, 
representing Eckert Front End Associates, Mr. Charles Adams. And here as his customer today, from Conroe, Mr. Buddy Barker. Gentlemen, you know the rules. Are there any questions? No? Good. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? Price on these batteries is wrong. Should be two forty-nine. Were there other packages over there with a different price? Nope. No, they all said two seventy-nine. But Wally's Drug World has a sale on these same batteries at two forty-nine. Now, don't you folks promise to meet all advertised prices on the same merchandise? Yes, we sure do. But all you need to get that price is a copy of Wally's ad. Well, I don't have a copy of Wally's ad. Now, you going to sell me these batteries at Wally's sale price or not? Sir, let me make sure I understand. You want these batteries at two forty nine dollars because that's Wally's sale price, but you don't have a copy of Wally's ad. Yeah, right. Okay, this is a situation I haven't handled before. I don't know what to say. Maybe I should call my store manager, and hopefully he can help. I don't care if you got to call the president. I'll wait. The manager's right over there. Mr. Alleman. Hi. Howdy. How may I help you, Charles? Mr. Alleman, this gentleman saw an ad at Wally's showing these batteries at $249. He wants us to meet that price according to our policy, but he doesn't have a copy of Wally's ad. I'm sure we've got a solution for that, sir. Eckert tries to stay competitive with all our prices. How would you like to have batteries of the same high quality for $1.99? $1.99 for the same batteries? Well, not exactly the same. Oh? Eckerd brand batteries, oh. designed to provide the same high-quality performance as the ones you wanted and at a lot lower cost. Well, what if I don't like them? If you don't like the batteries, you just bring them back. We'll refund your money or we'll give you a package of the nationally advertised brand. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a chance. Thanks for giving us the chance to make things right, instead of walking away mad. Yeah, I tell you, the kid was pretty good here. I think I threw him a curve. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the compliment. Well, there you have it. Young Charles Adams from Dallas, Texas, has just worked his way through a difficult situation. And I think the lad acquitted himself with style and grace. Now the judges have finished their deliberations. It's time to see how Adams did. Let's go to the judges' scorecards and see what they gave him for listening skills. Oh, it's a perfect clean sweep. Nines all the way across the board. And I'm not surprised because Adams' eyes were riveted on Mr. Barker from the beginning. Let's see how he did in getting all of the details. It's another set of good marks, all nines. Adams is on his way to a record if he can keep up this pace. Let's see how he did in the category of responding with genuine concern. Seven, seven, six, not as high as the others. Let's look at the replay. Well, he wasn't rude, but he's never been in that situation before and didn't know what to do. He did follow the correct procedure when he called the manager. Let's see his scores, nine. Eight. Eight. Pretty good. Now we're waiting for the marks for thanking the customer. And the judges seem to be sending a message to us. That's right. It was the store manager who did the thanking. But Adams thanked Barker for paying him a compliment. So this category won't count on the official scoring. The official tally is 8.3 for Charles Adams against Karen Lawrence's nine. Sometimes it's difficult and frustrating to meet a customer's needs. But when things get a little confusing, it's important to remember the six rules for keeping a customer satisfied. Let's see what our contestants have learned. First, always listen carefully. Smile and make eye contact with your customer. People like to know that you're tuned in. The second rule is to repeat the details of the complaint back to the customer after they have finished. That seems to work well. When customers hear you repeat their concerns in your own words, it makes it feel like you really understand the situation. Third, respond with genuine concern. Your customer may mention out-of-stock shampoo or batteries not on sale, but you can be sure that there are feelings involved. Disappointment, frustration, and often a touch of anger. Your concern helps to diffuse those feelings. Fourth, tell the customer what you can do. Nine times out of ten, you can find a way to satisfy the customer. That's why we have guarantees of service. Rule number five. Call the store manager or pharmacist if you don't know what to do, or if the situation looks like it might get out of hand. 
Store managers and pharmacists may have more experience in dealing with customers. And finally, thank the customer for allowing you to straighten things out. A customer who goes away angry can tell a lot of people about his or her bad experience. But a satisfied customer will talk to friends and family about the whole incident and will help Eka Drug win new customers. And that wraps it up for now. Today's top scorer was Karen Lawrence, with Charles Adams running a very close second. This is Howard Cancel reminding every Eckerd Drugstore associate to stay alert for opportunities to satisfy our customers and to follow the six steps for keeping our customers satisfied. We leave you today with a reminder about the tools you can use to keep customers satisfied. Our Eckerd guarantees of service.